Hi, my name is Suhaila Salampour, and welcome to Belly Dance Fitness Fusion Pilates. This video will be focusing on the core strength that is used in both Pilates and belly dance. Make sure to take it at your own pace and have a good time. Standing in straddle stance, legs out to the side, and inhale up. Exhale, release out. Inhale up, slowly exhale, release out. One more big breath in, and exhale, release out, and hold it down. Let's take a side stretch and hold. And belly button into the spine, take it through center, stretching out your back. Take it over to the side and hold. And take it through center and over to the side and hold. Now reach up, reach up through your hands. And one more time, take it over to the side and hold. And bring it through center, hands on top of the thighs. And contract up by pulling your belly button into your spine and drop your head. And now arch, head and pelvis up to the ceiling. And contract. And arch. And contract. And arch. And one more. Contract. And arch. Bring the hands down into straddle pike. Now keep your knees soft. Don't lock your knees. And take it over to the side and hold. And now let's take it over to the other side and hold. And take it through center. And now bend the knees and straighten. And again, bend the knees. Now make sure your knees come directly over your feet and straighten. Don't lock your knees. And two more. Bend the knees and straighten. Last one. Dig it down and straighten. And now let's take it down through center, over to the side. Make sure the knee is directly over that foot. Press the knee back. And let's take it into runner's lunge. Again, make sure the knee is directly over the foot. Extend the back leg out and hold. And bring the right arm front. And now arm up. Looking to the back wall, lift up. And take it down on the knees, stretch out the front leg, point the toe and drop the head. And now flex the front foot. And bring the leg in and extend out. Now make sure that the elbows are right under your shoulders. Spread your fingertips. Bring the legs together. Curl the toes under. We're going to do the plank. By pulling in the abs, belly button into the spine. Come up and hold.
and now release down. Bring the hands in and push back onto your knees into child's pose. Stretch out your spine. Drop the head between your arms and take a big breath in and exhale. Go a little further. And roll up. Bring the leg front. And now face front and slowly bend the other leg. Take it over to the side and hold. And let's take it into runner's lunge. Make sure the knee is directly over that foot. Extend the back leg out. And extend the arm front. And then open up the back to the back wall, arm up to the ceiling. And take it down on the knee, stretch out the front leg, point that foot and drop the head. And flex. And bring the leg back in. Extend the arms. You're lying on your belly. Bring the elbows right under the shoulders. Open up the fingertips. Bring the legs together. Curl the toes under. Use your abs. Pull the belly button into the spine and come up and hold. under the shoulders and push back into child's pose. Stretch out your spine. And roll up. Bring that leg front. Extend the back leg out. And take it around front. And slowly bend both knees. Take it to center. And now tuck your chin to your chest. Slowly roll up, one vertebrae at a time. And inhale up. And exhale, release out. And now bend the knees and press and press. Make sure the knees are right over the feet. Press and press. And now let's take the arm. It's shoulder and elbow. Wrist and release in the hand. And shoulder, elbow, wrist, release in the hand. Let's smooth it out and up and down and up and down and up, down, up, down. Stomach in. And now let's take the arms a little faster and right and left. Four more, three more, two more, and let's take the heel up and press, and press, and press. And right heel down and left heel up. Keep the knees back, belly button into the spine. Four more, three more, two more, and last one. Inhale up, and exhale, take the elbows onto the knees in straddle squat, and press, and press, and press. Now really use the elbows to press the knees back. Your back is flat. Stomach in and elongate the spine. Four more, three more, two more. Take the arms out for eight, eight, seven, six. 
and bring the arms front. Now keep the arms by the side of your ears. Press and press. Keep the knees back and the arms back and hold. Now make sure you're not resting your arms on your legs. Get the arms up. Stomach in. And now let's do an arm wave. Bring the arms front for two and back. For two and front. For two and back. Two more. Front and back. And front and back. And now release the arms and lift the hips and roll up. And inhale up. Exhale, take it down, straddle squat, and press, and press. And arms out. And bring the arms up by the side of your ears for eight, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and now take the arms back, and reach, five, six, seven, arm waves, bring it front for two, and one, and back, two, and one, and front, two, and one, and back, two more, and last one, and back. And now bring the hands on the floor, lift the hips, and slowly roll up. And inhale up. And exhale, release out. And now let's take it down to the floor. So you're lying on the floor in straddle sit. Legs out to the side, point your toes. And we're going to take a stretch. Inhale up. And exhale over to the side. And hold and reach through your fingertips. And inhale, exhale. Take it over to the other side and reach. Open up your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, come up. Now open up the rib cage over to the side and take it down. Cross your arm onto your leg and hold. And inhale, exhale, open up, take it over, and hold. And inhale up, and take it to center. Now flex your feet, pull your toes back, and lead with your diaphragm, and slowly walk it forward, little by little. And wherever you are in your flexibility is fine. Take it at your own pace. Use your breathing, inhale, exhale, take it a little further, and then hold. And inhale, and exhale, and slowly walk it back in. And now for this next section, we're going to be working our gluteus muscles. So I'm going to have the girls face the back, and I'm going to face the side, so you can see the isolations very clear. Now your weight is going to be forward to release your glutes. You're going to keep your legs relaxed. You're not using your quads, and your knees aren't moving. You're going to alternate squeezing and releasing your right and left glutes. So it's right, left. Right, left. Now pull up, sit up straight, stomach in, and remember to lean forward as much as you can. Right, left, right, left. Now remember the release is going to be harder than the squeeze. So really make sure that you just let go. Now just take the right side and right, 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 
squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now don't use your legs. And now the left side and squeeze, 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 release, squeeze, release. And now let's take both together. Together release, together release. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Eight more and eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now alternate again. Take it right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now for fun, we're gonna try it double time. Right, left, 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 right, left. Eight more and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now shake it out, hands behind you. Bring the legs in and arms up. And reach forward, point the toes, and drop your head. And flex, pull the feet back. And roll up, now bring your feet in to butterfly position. Grab your ankles and use your elbows to press your knees open and drop your head. And now slowly roll up. And now separate your legs and slowly roll down to the floor, one vertebrae at a time. Now bring your hands behind your head. Inhale. Exhale, come up and hold. Now keep your elbows back, chin up, chin up. Belly button into your spine. Keep your back flat, every vertebra of your spine on the floor. And again, inhale. Exhale, come up and hold a little higher. But keep the chin up. Here we go. And little pulses up and up and up. Elbows back. Pull your belly button into the floor. And really visualize your spine connecting to the floor. And up, up. Now use your breathing. Exhale, exhale. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, two more. Now legs up, cross the ankles, and up, up. Now keep breathing and make sure you're breathing. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Elbows back, chin up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now uncross your legs and bring them down parallel with the floor. Now bring the hands by the side of the body, palms up. Keep reaching and reach, reach. Pull the belly button into the floor and reach. Exhale, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now hands on top of the head, elbows in, and now bring the elbows in to meet the knees. And up, up. Keep breathing, exhale, exhale, exhale. Pull the belly button into the floor. Knees together for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
cross your ankles and let's bring the right elbow to left knee, left elbow right knee. And cross. Now you're working your obliques. Keep breathing. Cross. Exhale. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Three more. Two more. And last one. Now pull the knee into your chest and give your legs a hug. And legs out straight, arms overhead. And reach your fingertips and toes in opposite direction. And now come up onto your elbows. Cross the right leg over the left leg and pull up. Really pull up out of your rib cage. Now we're going to isolate the upper abs and lower abs. And upper abs and lower abs. So now you're beginning to break down your undulation. Upper abs, lower abs. So when you contract your upper abs, release the lower abs. And when you contract the lower abs, release the upper abs. And now full time and upper, lower, upper, lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now take it around, lying on your belly. Bring your hands together in front of you and slowly push up. Look up to the ceiling. And now release down. Bring your hands under your shoulders and push back into child's pose. And stretch out your spine. And slowly roll up. Now sitting on the floor, bring your legs in front into a cross-legged position. If you have any knee problems, you can take a leg out. That's no problem. So sitting in cross-legged position, so arms are lifted, and first you're going to contract your upper back, then upper abs, then lower abs. And upper back, then upper abs, then lower abs. Here we go. Upper back, upper abs, lower abs. Upper back, upper abs, lower abs. Upper back, upper abs, lower abs. And now let's smooth it out. And up, roll down. Up, roll down. Up, roll down. Up, roll down. So one of the things that you want to be really aware of is while you're doing your undulations, you're not putting any contractions in your lower back. That's why we're sitting on the floor. So your hips are square. And you're just using the upper back, upper abs, lower abs. And now let's take the undulations full time. And up, roll down, up, roll down. Eight more, eight, seven, Six, five, four more, three more, two more, and last one, and stretch it forward, stretch it out. And roll up, and arms up, now let's reverse it. So it's lower abs, upper abs, upper back. Lower abs, upper abs, upper back. Now we're working on an undulation down to up. 
lower abs, upper abs, upper back. And now let's try it a little faster. And down, roll up, down, roll up, down, roll up. And now let's smooth it out. And down, roll up, down, up, down, roll up. Seven, six, five, four, three, and now we're going to alternate and up to down and then down to up. Up, roll down, down, roll up, up, roll down, down, roll up, up, roll down, down, roll up. Eight, seven, Six, five, four more, three more, two, up, roll down, down, roll up, and stretch it forward, and roll up, feet on the floor, separate your legs and push up, hands in front, lift the hips, and slowly roll up. And legs apart, standing in straddle stance. Inhale up and exhale, release out. Now fingertips into your obliques. You're going to slide your ribcage side and you're going to feel it in the opposite oblique. And then bring the ribcage over to the opposite side and it's in the opposite oblique that you were just sliding toward. So slide side and feel the pull in the opposite oblique and slide side and feel it in the opposite oblique. And slide, slide. Arms out, palms up. Now make sure to keep your weight evenly distributed between both legs. And now half time, side, 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 side. Full time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and now lift up, upper back, upper abs, upper back, upper abs. So upper back and then contract the upper abs. Upper back and upper abs. And now half time. Upper back, upper abs, upper back, upper abs. And full time. And up, down, up, down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And now let's take a circle side, front. Side, back, side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back. And now half time is side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back. And full time. Seven, six, five, four, three, and reverse the circle. It's side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back. And now half time. Side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back. And full time. Seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. And inhale up. And exhale, release out. Now we're standing in home position, which means feet flat and parallel. Knees bent, and you're going to be using your lower abdominal muscles to tuck your pelvis under. Now from the waist down, that's your position, and from the waist up, you open up the diaphragm, the arms are lifted, shoulders down. So now you're going to be doing pelvic locks. Contract lower abs and lower back. Lower abs, lower back. Now when your pelvic locks come front, you're using your lower abdominal muscles. And when you lock back, you're using your lower back. So it's front, back, front, back. And make sure that you're not engaging your upper back. So it's like you're disconnected from the waist down and the waist up. So from the waist down, it's just contracting. Lower abs, lower back. Lower abs, lower back. And release your glutes. And from the waist up, you're just lifted and relaxed. Lock, 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 lock. And now half time, downbeat front, front, back, front, back. Front, back, front, back. Now keep your knees bent and shoulders down. And full time, downbeat front, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. Seven, six, five, four, three, and now quarter time. Downbeat back. So it's back, front, back, front, back, front. Now remember to use your lower abdominal muscles when you come front and do not squeeze your glutes. And now half time, and back, front, back, front. Shoulders down, keep breathing. And now full time, and back front, back front, back front, back front. more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now alternating glute squeezes. Take right, left. Now keep your knees bent. And you're just alternating, squeezing and releasing your glutes. And relax your legs. And half time. Ribcage lifted, arms up, shoulders down, and keep breathing. Relax your feet. And now full time. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and now let's put it together. Front, side, back, side, front, side, back, 
side. So this is an interior hip square and lower abs, glutes, lower back, glutes, and front, side, back, side, front, side. And now let's take it a little faster. And front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side. Remember, don't use your upper back. Disconnect from the waist down and the waist up. And now a little faster. Front side, back side, front side, back side. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now let's reverse. Take it slow. Front, side. Back, side, lower out, glute, lower back, glute. And now half time, and front, side, back, side. Full time and front side, back side, front side, back side. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bend the knees, stretch forward, stretch out your back, keep the knees soft. And now tuck your chin to your chest and slowly roll up. And inhale. And exhale, release out. And bring your right knee into your chest. And hands lace. And pull the knee in. Stretch out that back. Use your breathing. Inhale, exhale, and release that leg. And now bring the other leg in. Lace your fingers and pull the knee in slowly, slowly. Inhale, and exhale, release that leg. Now bring both knees in. And now rock back and forth. Stretch out that back. And now give a big hug in, both knees in. Inhale. Exhale and release the leg out straight, arms overhead. And fingertips and toes in opposite direction. And roll over onto your stomach. And hands under your shoulders and curl the toes under. Push back and press the right heel down and left heel down and right heel down and left heel down. Now walk your hands in. Bend your knees, tuck your chin to your chest and slowly roll up. And face front, legs out to the side and straddle stand, and inhale up, and exhale, release out, and inhale up, and exhale, release out, and one more big breath in, and slowly exhale, release out, and thank you.
Oh, yes. And then there's hormones. That's a shocker. I, I, I missed the handout, definitely, when I got pregnant about the hormones. I mean, I think uh, having a baby and getting pregnant and after having a baby, it makes your uh, menstrual cycle look like a day at Disneyland. So not only do you have mood swings, but your body changes. And I don't know whose body this is, but it's definitely the body that I <laughs> have to get to know each day. Sometimes I wake up and I feel fine. And I go, oh, yeah, okay, that's me. That's Suhela. And other days, it's like, ouch. I mean, I can't even barely touch my toes. So you have to remember that that each day is like a new exploration of, of getting to know yourself. And I tell my students and I tell my classes to be really careful. One day you're going to be able to stretch really deeply and the next day don't take it for granted. You have to, you have to every day like get to know yourself and take it slow. Because your body's going to change and it's going to shift and, and, and you're going to have to get to know yourself and that's okay. You have, to, you have to go with that and just be okay with feeling a new sense of self each day. Just don't lose touch with your body. Stay in your body and try to always maintain a sensuous quality because that's what we are. And if you lose that and if you detach from your body, then where are you? Where did you go? Also available is Havana Heat Fitness Workout and Latin Dance Instruction with Joby Brava. For more information 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, go to www.naturaljourneys.com. Natural Journeys, 
when the journey is as important as the destination.